The expectations are so high for Phoebe because she left Chloe at the peak of her career. There hasn't been a lot of new blood in Paris this season, so it's really great to have her feel like she's back, but we know that she's talented. It's got to work as a very traditional French house that's just been super updated, and I do think Phoebe's the person to do that, in part because that's the way she dresses. My first memories of Celine are really of the handbags and of the leather goods. Um, and in the past, you know, I've seen images of the kind of Celine woman, that kind of I iconic woman in a kind of 70s shirt and a 70s skirt. And I've always been attracted to, to the way it was always quite uh, practical. You know, it's never been about evening wear or cocktail or fanciness. It was always about trenches and separates and pieces that almost had a soul of menswear in a weird way. So, um, you know, the combination of the history of the leather goods mixed with that practicality just felt like it could be quite a good combination for me. Before Michael Kors, I always thought of Celine as a place that you went to get a kind of bourgeois um, shoulder bag and maybe an A-line skirt and maybe a good knit. I mean, it was very bourgeois. Excited, particularly because she's so into it, you know, she's really excited and enjoying doing what she's doing. It's not just sort of being forced to return to work, she really loves it. And, I, and we're excited for her for that reason. We're sounding really like guys, mum and dad, aren't we here? But she just seems to know what young women kind of should be wearing. such an ascension and then to leave and to walk away from it all was sort of alarming to everybody that this is her moment and so it's it's such a good feeling that she's back and back in fashion and back with such a you know important name and bringing that back I think that it's a really great moment now that she's a mom she's taken a few years off she's in many ways grown up in all sorts of ways grown up and doing a much more grown-up line I think we want to see those clothes, and we need to see those clothes because there's a lot of clothes out there that look great on the runway, but I'm not sure if people are going to wear them. Maybe the most sensible way to approach it was just not to complicate it and not to go too fashion in a way and just really, you know, everything that was in that collection came from my, uh, my gut. You know, very instinctual feeling. Well, it, personally, I thought it was riveting. The last we saw it, Chloe, it was a very different style. It was more uh, feminine and uh, you wouldn't really call it girly, but it was just more about things that uh, young women were wearing. It was very contemporary feeling. This was a lot more modern looking. It was, you know, you saw these really tight fitted tops, the trench dresses. Uh, it was a totally different look. That makes sense because it's a totally different house. have said to me it felt quite simple quite clean and that was something that I very much wanted it being a new beginning for me and for the brand and for us both working together the chances of me getting it wrong weren't too high because it's never you know had a kind it's not like taking over from an iconic designer um, historically it just hasn't had that so in a way it was like a, a clean palette and um, that could be reinvented which felt very exciting I think there's a lot of a lot riding on this. I mean, I know, I, I hadn't wanted clothes in such a long time until I saw that resort, so I'm very excited. How has fashion changed in, in those three or four years? It hasn't. <laughs> no, it just hasn't. <laughs> it's just the same old same, to be totally honest. <laughs> it's... You know, exactly, it's, it's, it's funny to be back, it's, it's, it's the same people, it's actually quite surreal how, um, how that is, but oh, I mean, you know, it's great, but it's, it's, it's not been a revolution, it's just a continuation of, I guess, where it was four years ago.